Yo yo people, Gertune here for another video. So guys, this video is going to be in Farming Sir 19 and today we are going to be building a brand new mansion on the Nebraska Lands map. If you have never watched us play on this map before, we have been building a whole city. So it started off as all this you're seeing in front of me was just farmland. The only actual structure that was here was this Case IH shop. But now we have a farm, we have a gas station, we have a police station, we have this mansion, which was great, but I, I have something better today. Uh, we have this forest, we have this housing complex, uh, the paint shop, showroom, or dealership, I should say. Then we have this scrapyard or towing yard. We have this plaza and we have our fire station. This chunk of land here, I've cleaned it up a bit and we are ready to build an even better mansion than the previous one. And we are going to start right now. So I'm going to go ahead. This is our construction vehicle, our brand new one. We'll pop that up. Let's turn on our construction sign. And I know this obviously doesn't have everything we need, but we will open up the doors. I'll just show you guys this vehicle quickly. Uh, this was actually just posted too, but this is like a little kind of service vehicle. You actually have controls here, so we can open like menus and triggers and all that. So you can actually customize vehicles or repair vehicles. So let's go ahead and place down the initial structure and then we can start decorating it. So uh, by the way, by default, it's under farmhouses. I've went ahead, edited the mod, and just made it under the sheds since we already have a placeable house on the map and you can only have one per farm. Uh, yeah, so this farmhouse, $400,000. Honestly, I would expect this to cost a lot more. I guess if you're living in the middle of nowhere though, it would be cheaper. But where I live, this would, this would go for quite a bit more than that. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go ahead. I want to try something different. So usually, we place these down... Uh, right like at a 90 degree angle. It would look like this. It's completely flush But I want to try actually moving this uh, like that Because it's gonna make us have a lot bigger driveways and when you have a mansion this size That is obviously something you want place this down in three two one boom there we go and Yeah, it does need quite a bit of work on the exterior. That is the main thing We're honestly gonna be doing this video. Actually, you know what? Let's just quickly clean it up a little bit now all right so we have that done now let's go ahead and look at the actual interior and you know what I'm gonna drive my vehicle over just because we can <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and start I guess in the garage now these garage doors I don't believe automatically open so we will have to do it manually here we go we'll go right like so perfect open this up Look at that. And it honestly has a really cool sound. I'm glad to see. Awesome. And yeah, let's go ahead, turn off the lights, turn this off. We can close up the garage door now. Look at that. I really like the way, like, okay, obviously it's very hard to make that kind of animation in this game, but they did a fantastic job having the individual pieces line up. I'm going to open this door. I'm going to turn on the light in the garage. One of the many, many lights. You see, we have lots of decoration. Uh, now, this radio can actually turn on. I'm not going to go ahead and do it, though, just in case there's any copyrighted stuff. But it does work. Can hop on in here, and let's turn on this light switch. Perfect. Okay, first door. What do we got? We have an office. Very, very cool. You got a safe. You got your computer. Very detailed interior. Well, what are they on right now? Looks like they're buying some kind of equipment or looking at the John Deere website. Very, very nice. But anyways, we're going to keep looking at this. But before I do that, here's a message from our sponsor. Join Lava Mod's Patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modern creations. You will get early access to Lambo, Winston, and Beardshot's awesome ideas. On top of all that, you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools. Join today using the link below. All right, guys, let's go ahead and open this door. So we were just in this office going right across and we have our laundry room and let's go out here all right lots of amazing artwork Ooh, here we have our kitchen and what are we eating wait what <laughs> never even heard Wheaties uh okay yeah I've never heard of this but do you, get, do you guys have that where you live let me know down below 
here's a coffee maker now I'll show you guys this working there we go I actually in real life have a sign that looks very similar to these that's that's cool okay you guys have probably even seen it in my live streams before but there we go we can turn it off and then over here we've got a fireplace we have our living room. Now, this living room has a working TV. I'm 90% sure that what's on here is copyrighted. Uh, it's some new stuff or like it shows the weather or whatever. So, I'm not going to be playing that. Okay, so now, uh, oh, we've got this door. Almost forgot about it. Here's our washroom. We can open up this and very, very cool. We can hop inside. That's a huge shower. Anyways, let's go upstairs. Now, we, again, we'll be decorating the outside, so don't worry about that. But yeah, okay, so we have this little seating area. It's actually quite large. Got another mirror, got a dresser, and there's the bed. You can jump on the bed. <laughs> awesome. You got a little horse picture there. Very cool. With, with the tractor. Anyone know what kind of tractor that is? I have absolutely no clue. <laughs> this one has another bedroom. Now, this one's a little smaller. Uh, ooh, the light's actually off. Is there a way to turn it on? Ooh, I don't think so. All right, maybe they can add that in an update or something. But obviously, we already have a lot of detail in here. Like, this pillow's on the bed. What? <laughs> Let's open this door. And final room is another washroom. But that's about it for the interior. Lots to go through there. Very, very cool. Let's go ahead and start working on the exterior. All right, so we have quite a bit of land to work with. I think just to play the safe, let's make this all the same texture. All right, so got a lot of concrete placed down. Now let's go ahead, make this circular. We're gonna change this up. This texture should be pretty solid. And then have us go to here. Let's make this a bit bigger, can make it a bit more even. Now we can't uh, do anything with this stripe right here or the strip. All right, now that that is done, I'm thinking of actually filling in the whole interior with the same kind of texture. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, we got that done. I evened it out a little bit. Now working with these angles is making stuff very unique shapes. So we're gonna have to really play with the ground type in order to get it to match or like not look terrible. <laughs> okay, so now we have our garage. Now the garage is gonna need more squared kind of look. Now that that's done, we need to connect this up in some way. We will round the edges as well, but uh, we need to figure out if we want to keep this ground texture. Okay, so can we connect this up to here? That is what my hope is, to connect this but make it look good. All right, so we got that done. I actually want to widen this section just a little. Okay, now uh, this here, let's just kind of move that in a little. So it's not as dramatic. <laughs> Perfect. And then on this side, we're going to have to figure out a way to blend this in. Because currently, what we have going just does not work. Okay, so I've done a lot of work. I decided to go with this kind of shape. And now I want to actually place down a bunch of grass. Because currently, we're really just working with pavement. And it looks great, but you need some kind of greenery, right? So... I'm thinking here we'll make it grass if we can. It's a pretty hard shape to actually get. So I don't know, as you guys can see, like it doesn't really want to adjust. Okay guys, after messing around for quite a while, I got this whole section to be grass. It was very challenging. I did actually expand it a little bit, but now let's work on this side. All right guys, so what I've done, um, I first placed this down. This is actually a different texture than over here. And the reason for that, this is where our basketball court would go. Um, yeah, I want a basketball court at this house just because, like, it's a mansion, right? Why not have room for one? Uh, I feel like they would likely have one, or at least there's a high probability. Anyways, now let's work on this back section. What if we go like that? Okay, that's a interesting angle. Do we want grass through all of this? I feel like some concrete would be nice. Okay, what if we go like that, and then on this side, okay, the grass actually, if we want to extend it out that much, if we do it on one side, then we're gonna to have to do it on the other. So let's see. It's a little bit unique, but I'll also round off this edge here. 
and I'm gonna fill this all in and make it look nice and we'll be back. Okay guys, so this is the final look I got for back here. I think that's pretty cool. We have our grass patches, very, very nice. So now uh, we're gonna need a path connecting the court to where we are. All right guys, so this is what I ended up with. It actually took me like five to 10 minutes to do this. I don't know why, uh, but I'm really happy with it. So there we go. Now it does thin out around here. Uh, I might change that down the road, but actually, you know what? Let's just do it now. There we go. Make it a little bit wider there. Perfect. And then I'll have to fix this. Uh, is that the right texture? Nope. Okay, come on. There we go. Much better. What do we still have to do? So I guess just this section here. Because obviously having this weird pavement just doesn't work. So I still like this angle, but it does look a little bit funky. So we might end up removing it. I'm going to try making this all grass though, and we'll see how it looks. All right, so I filled it all in. Now I did thin this out a little bit and I don't know, it, it, it works, but it's now making me feel like this section needs to be a little bit wider. Just kind of keep with the flow of things. Not, not by much. Okay. Now at second look, I, I just did that. Um, let's just fill this all in. It, I think it's just going to be so much nicer. So here we go. Alrighty. There we go. That looks very, very nice. Uh, now I just want to figure out a way to make this section look a little bit more natural. It's very edgy, <laughs> I will say. So to fix this, I'm thinking we either make another pathway here or we can try actually putting something in this area. But look at this thing. It just fits perfectly in that area and the doors also work perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and place it down. All right, there we go. Looks very, very cool. I'm happy with the final result. Do we want to connect here? That's the next question. If so, we would probably want to get both doors going. Mm, you know, what? let's just let's just do it. All right, we connected that up. Very, very happy with how it looks. It is a little bit jagged, but that's really the best I could do. And then this door, honestly, um, it has other pathways like it's really just that small door so yeah our, our main big barn doors do have complete access awesome job now we could also fence this in I was debating that probably would be a good idea but currently there's no fences I think look good here besides for ones we've already used and I want to get some better so in the future we might revisit this and just place down some fencing but besides for that oh actually you know what we aren't done let me place down some bushes. All right, guys, I actually did quite a bit of work off camera there. Uh, I placed down a bunch of trees. I decided to surround the basketball court. I know from this aerial view, it looks a little bit weird, but in person, it's very nice having that surrounded. And then we also have, um, yeah, all these trees along this side. I ended up putting a fence down just cause I thought it looked nice in this one section. It unfortunately is the same as the one that the fire station uses but having the one fence isn't too bad i got bushes between these trees very very happy with it let's look at the walk around from first person here we go yeah this whole section looks so nice uh, i do have a bit denser of shrubbery right there keep going look at this thing guys very very cool so yeah, and then here is where you'd have your nets. Uh, you probably would still want this to be fenced in more, but I'm happy with the way it is. I was thinking about putting something in this area, but I don't really know what would fit here. Actually, you know what? I have one, one idea. Let's go ahead and try one thing. It's not perfect, but I am quite happy with this final result. So then you can even walk around here. I might change this corner. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do that now. And yeah, that looks really nice move along the side you can open your door here if you want or just head on out so there we go thank you for watching oh i also put the american flag down but yeah thank you guys for watching this video if you did enjoy it, please drop a like and consider subscribing you guys are awesome bye bye want to play games with your friends grab a dedicated server from g portal make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant five percent discount